I have the chance to uh, try out aluminum stump jumper uh, FSR. I've got to look up this travel. I don't know what the travel is on this bike. 29er, but 2019. 2019. And they've they got a cool little. Um, I don't know what, what you call that. It's kind of a cool frame. Shocks 34 fork, Fox 34 front fork. So we'll see how this rides. Um, I'll trade it off with David. He's, I've got my following. He's on that. So we'll just, we'll just trade off back and forth. I can feel there's more suspension on the stump jumper compared to the following. Um, like it moves a lot more when I pedal and down the trail. So the stump jumper does? Yeah. The keep more pedal bob? Yeah. I mean you would It's not in climb mode too. I, I would definitely use climb mode on the stump jumper. Oh, wow. You're low for sure. What's your weight? It's like two bars. Two bars? Yeah, baby. See? There it goes. Nice. Woo! So, David, you're riding the Specialized Stump Jumper 2019. What do you think of it so far? Honestly, it's amazing. I, I really like it. It's, uh, the, I don't feel like I'm uh, stretched out too far. It's pretty, uh, pretty tight on the geometry. And then it feels like it has a pretty long wheelbase for, I mean, for what for what it is. And then the 29 inch wheels, I mean, are just, I've actually fairly enjoyed them. They're, uh, they can roll over pretty much everything. Um, I don't know, I haven't jumped it yet, so we'll find that out later today on how it jumps. Awesome. <laughs> oh, the pedal.
Dude, you okay? Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Well, um, I had a camera malfunction, actually a, a video malfunction uh, at the end of our ride. I was interviewing David about his impressions of the stump jumper 29er that he uh, he rode all day today. I didn't get a lot of time on the bike, very minimal, so I was really interested to hear his review of how it climbed, how it descended, how it felt overall, and um, I'll try to reiterate what he had said in the interview that didn't make it onto my SD card. Um, he didn't have anything negative to say about it. He thought it was really uh, a fun, um, capable bike overall. And the trails we rode today up on Beacon, um, we rode a little bit of jump trail and climbing, descending, uh, so a variety of things that uh, the bike handled really well. He liked it uh, immensely. He thought it cl uh, the climbing on it was um, uh, really efficient. The descending felt comfortable. He liked the reach. The comfort of the geometry felt right at home to him. So he was really impressed with the 29er size wheels. He wasn't used to those. He's coming off a 26er, and he liked those a lot. Uh, the, s the short time I had on it was briefly on some kind of green, flat, trails and I was trying to be playful on it and hopping over little berms and bumps and sometimes when I do that I like to kind of tweak the rear end to the side and I noticed compared to the following uh, MB that I ride it was definitely harder to get that bike to move around underneath me um, just kind of for whatever that's worth uh, so it felt a little less playful than uh, the, the shorter travel uh, MB that I ride, uh, uh, and it, it climbed okay. The it climbed it climbed well, um, but I did notice uh, it, it bobbed more. It used a lot more of its travel, and when I was pedaling, that the specialized than compared to my bike. So I'm just showing you what I felt. I think I could be happy on the stump jumper. It seemed capable and everything. So uh, hopefully. Uh, this video was uh, useful to you or at least a little bit entertaining. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. If so, please uh, click the like button and subscribe. Thank you.